Now, Carmeny and I have put on our aprons. We're in the kitchen, and we're going to make a dish that has Malaysian and Dutch origins, but it's actually a proudly South African dish. Stay just where you are. We're doing it in a sec. Knorr, what's for dinner? Available at Pick and Pay. Morning, Carmeny. What are you making Morning, for us Lisa. today? Today we're going to make a tomato breedy. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying before, it's definitely a Malay dish, so it's yeah. going to go in with the whole theme of heritage today. Fantastic. We need a variety of ingredients, and you don't need to rush for a pen right now to get this ingredient, all these ingredients written down. All you need to do is you need to SMS our keyword, KNORR, K-N-O-R-R, to 337J. The ingredients list will be sent straight to your mobile phone. What are those ingredients? Those ingredients are some onions, we've got some salt and pepper, we've got some dried chilies, some cinnamon, mm -hmm. a kg of mutton, two cans of tomatoes, some water, and of course our KNORR brown onion soup. Where do we start? So, so obviously we start with, with a bit of onions, we're going to brown that in the pan. Then we're going to add the aromatics, so we're going to do some cinnamon and a little bit of dried chilli. I see you've thrown a whole cinnamon stick in there. Yes. Is that fine or do you want to, can you put ground cinnamon in? You can definitely put ground cinnamon in there, although I kind of like this, it's got a very romantic feel, that whole spice of it all. So you're going to let that sort of, make the whole pot full of aromatics, mm -hmm. then we're going to add in um, a lamb. Now this is so perfect, it is Heritage Month. This is one of a, a truly proudly South African dish with a Malay uh, origin and a Dutch Definitely. origin as well. So really a conglomeration of uh, cultures and of meals on the show today. It is indeed. Okay, so you're browning your meat? Yes, we will. We'll brown the meat off before you add in some tomato. In a perfect world, you sort of let this cook for about two minutes or so before you add in your potatoes. But because we're doing a TV style, we're doing it a little bit quicker. At home, do it, do it the right way. The, the recipe is on our website, expressoshow.com. Yeah, Can you stir that up for me, Diesel? Yeah, sure. Great stuff. And then you cook that off for about 30 minutes because your potatoes obviously need to cook. We're using mutton and not lamb just because it's slightly all the cut of meat. Mm -hmm. It's going to impart a really beautiful base note of flavour. And uh, it's going to take a bit longer to cook there anyway. Then we're going to have our tomato soup. Okay, so what do we do with the tomato soup? The tomato soup we're going to dissolve in a bit of water. Okay, so you're dissolving it with water. You are, and it's really great because it's packed full of flavour that you'd probably take a lot longer to cook. Mm -hmm. And put that in there. This makes it so easy at home. You don't have to do it yourself. You just get the brown onion soup, pop it in. Exactly that. And do that. And you let that cook off for another 30 minutes. So mm -hmm. in total, it's probably about 45 minutes to an hour. But again, TV time. Ye Espresso TV time. <laughs> We've got our yellow rice cooked off here, which is a little bit of rice um, with some turmeric, and I see that there's some raisins in here as well. That's also very nice with the, I love the raisins with Beautiful. my rice. Beautiful. Ideal for a curry, ideal with the babuwa tea. Very good. And, and the one we did a bit earlier. Yes. Doesn't that look great? I know you were up super early cooking for us to make sure. Always. How long would it take to make a dish like this? I would say about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely worth every minute that you spend in the kitchen. And it's a dish that's full of nutrients. You're getting your tomatoes in there, rich in vitamin C. You've got your potatoes acting as your carbs, your rice. You've also got your, your cinnamon, which is a, a, a really great spice, as well as some uh, chili. So good antioxidants. This is a really healthy, hearty meal. It might be summer, but it is a perfect summer dish as well. Most definitely. I think you need to try it first. I'm definitely going to give it a try. I've tried this on the braai before. I've put my poiki pot on the braai and made a tomato breedy on the braai. That would actually be perfect and you get that beautiful smoky flavour from mm -hmm. the braai in there. It Amazing. adds it all in. Now, if you'd like to get the ingredients list sent through to your mobile phone to make your shopping a little bit easier, all you need to do is you need to SMS the keyword KNORR, K-N-O-R-R, -R, to 33728. This ingredients list will be sent straight through to your mobile phone. Carmeny, I cannot wait to try this. I hope you love it. Ooh. Mm. Is that good? Brilliant. This is really, really good. It's got a sweet, um, meaty flavour with the, all your spices and your rice. Really, really incredible. Thank you so much for showing us how to make this incredibly Heritage Day dish. Oh. <coughs> so good. Can I take that for you? You can take that from me. <laughs>